all these things we have discussed okay so yes, in today's class we will be solving some numerical problems based on the type of topics based on amplitude loudness pitch frequency time period based on these things let's solve few questions then yes sir Am I visible now? Your screen is visible, sir. Yeah, I will be visible in a while. Okay. Yeah. Now we talked about the properties of the sound. Like, what is the frequency of the sound? We talked about. It is simply the number of oscillations in one Perfect. second. Yes, sir. right. Okay, so frequency is calculated like this. Frequency is equal to number of oscillations, oscillations in one second. In the total time of in one second, usually it is calculated. The value comes in one second. Suppose yes. you are having twenty oscillations. Okay, in a time period of five seconds, so the frequency becomes four, four hertz. Four. Yeah, right. So four yes. hertz, meaning that there are four oscillations per second. Yes, sir. Four oscillations per second. That is the frequency of the sound here. So frequency basically tells you the number of oscillations in the given time. And when you yes, calculate sir. it, you will be finding it in per second basis. Sir, Getting what it? If, uh, what if the uh, uh, like? The oscillations are uh, uh, not divisible by the denominator. Not divisible by the denominator. For example, yes. if you were to get <laughs> values like this, twenty-one upon five. Yes, sir. So you will get what? It will be four point two. Yes, sir. Four point two oscillations. So you calculated yes, on the numerator side, you are getting four point two now. On the denominator side, whatever what is left, one is left now. Yes, sir. So no matter if the or, uh, uh, if the oscillation if the value is getting div divided by the time or not, you will always calculate on the basis of per second. Yes, sir. Got it, Arham Arhan. Ahmed hasn't joined yet. No. Okay. No. So frequency, you guys know what it is, and the frequent formula is frequency yeah. equals to total number of seconds, total of time. Yeah. Time period. Number of Oscillation upon time, right? Yes. It is expressed as in hertz, and a frequency of twenty hertz means twenty oscillation oscillation per second. Okay. Right now. Yes. Okay. Now let's also talk about loudness and pitch. So loudness and pitch are determined by what? Is it determined by uh, amplitude or is it determined by frequency? Please do tell me. The amplitude. Amplitude, more the yes. amplitude, more will be the loudness of the sound. Right now, okay. So talking about the next topic, that is time period. Yes, so sir. how were we calculating time period, guys? The time period was basically the time taken to complete one oscillation. Yes, so sir. we said that I'm giving you the formulas. Okay, so time period. Time period, in terms of formula, it is the time in which the number of oscillations are given. Basically, the time taken to complete the number of uh, oscillations. Yes, sir. Of uh, one oscillation, basically, number of oscillation. Okay. So suppose in a time period of four second, there are ten oscillations. Yes. How many oscillations? Ten oscillations. Ten. So, the answer you are getting is zero point four second. So zero point yes, four second here is the time period. Yes, sir. Okay. <coughs> so underline this, and that is the formula required to calculate time period. Getting it now? Yes, sir. Okay. Good. Now frequency is also clear. Time period is also clear. Right? Yes, sir. Okay, now let's solve few questions then. Yes, sir. 
right yes sir frequency is equal to number of oscillation upon total time taken right and the next formula we talked about time period okay it will be time upon number of oscillation yes sir okay and also in the in the, in between frequency and time period there is inverse relation frequency yes, is sir. inversely proportional to time period notice this thing also getting it now yes sir yeah so if the time period increases if the time period increases there will be lesser frequency yes sir Okay, or if the frequency is more, it means the time period is lesser. Yes. Getting it? Yes, sir. Okay then. So solve a question. The sound wave traveling through a medium. to a medium does 100 oscillations in 60 second okay find yes, the sir. time period okay and frequency find the two values sir i got it Got yes, it. Sir, the, the time period is zero point six. Time period is zero point six. Okay, so it was calculated like this. Sixty upon. And the frequency is one point six is. Frequency is one point. One point six. One point six. Frequency is number of oscillation. That is hundred upon sixty. Sixty. Okay, very good. That is one point six six. So this is the required time period and frequency, and you guys. Are aware now how to calculate it. Emma doesn't join yes. it. No. no, he is not no. here. Right. Okay, okay. All right. Let's solve few more questions. <coughs> Question number two. If the time period of a Sound wave is five second, okay, and the time given is let's say five or fifteen second. Hmm. Find the number of oscillation. Three. No. Yeah. Don't rush. Do yes, not sir. rush. Okay. Take your time and solve it. Sir, is it a one one upon three? One upon three. Look here. You need to calculate time. Uh, time period is given, right? Mm. So the yes, formula sir. to calculate time period is what? Uh, time, time upon, upon number of oscillation. Number of oscillations. Right. Yes, sir. Time is given in the question. Hmm. Time is given five, and time period is given fifteen. Yes, sir. You need to calculate the number of oscillations. So you will number of oscillation will be what? Time upon time period here. Yes, sir. That is five upon fifteen yes, here now. Hmm. Right, number of oscillations. So it is one upon three. three. Right, that is the value. Yes, Getting sir. it. Yes, sir. Okay, so this is how you are required to solve such questions, right? Okay. Yes. Let's move ahead then. Now let's talk about audible and inaudible range of sound. Like you can't hear all the ranges of sound. The sound, mm -hmm. the the range of the sound which is are heard by a cat or a dog is different to the sound that can be heard by us humans. Getting it? Yes, sir. Okay. So the audible range of sound, especially for humans, is Between twenty hertz to twenty thousand hertz, or twenty thousand hertz is simply, in short, written as twenty kilohertz. Hmm. That means one kilohertz is equals to <coughs> ten thousand hertz. 
ten thousand hertz, right? So sound range, uh, sound that is having a frequency between twenty hertz to twenty thousand kilohertz, are audible range for human ear and known as sonic range. Okay, yes, and any sound that is having a frequency below than twenty hertz is inaudible. Inaudible. It does not mean it does not exist. It only means that we can't hear it. So it is called as infrasonic. And sound that is above twenty kilo how uh, kilo hertz, twenty thousand kilo hertz, that is also inaudible, inaudible. and our yes. ears can't hear that. Ultrasonic range. Getting it? Yes, sir. Good. Now there are some animals who can hear the sounds of frequencies higher than twenty thousand kilo hertz. Getting it? Yes, sir. So dogs have this ability. It is yes. also uh, the reason why many times dog unnecessarily barks. Okay, mm. not unnecessarily. It is because of this re uh, reason why the dogs bark. Yes, sir. Getting it? So okay. cats also can hear it. Below cats can also are... hear. Yeah, cats can also hear. Now the police uses high. Frequency whistles which dogs can hear but humans cannot. So the uh, police are using whistle sounds that are having a frequency higher than twenty thousand hertz that only the dogs can hear while the human ear cannot hear it and in, it cannot interpret it. Getting it now? Mm. Yes. Sir. Okay. So the ultrasound equipment which is used for investigating and tracking the medical problems that also runs on the ultrasound. Frequency. Hmm. That's why doctor many times prescribes you to get the ultrasound to get a ultrasound done, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what is hearing impairment? That is loss of hearing capability. Yes, sir. So it will occur when now when the eardrum is ruptured. Hmm. If the eardrum is ruptured, when the person loses the ability to hear the sound, right? So total hearing impairment, which is rare, usually it is rare and it is usually from birth itself. Partial mm -hmm. disability is generally the result of a disease, injury, or age. Many times, person is able to only hear the partial sound, not full sound. Getting it? Mm -hmm. So it yes, might sir. be due to some inf infection, due to some damage. Getting it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you see, children with impaired hearing need special care. By learning sign languages, like the sign language has been developed for them. Yes, sir. Okay, for persons who can't hear, and the for persons who can't see also, for them also sign language has been developed, right? Yes, sir. Okay, what about the person who can't see who are blind? Which language has been developed for from for them? It's a braille. Yes. Braille language. Yes. Good. Braille. That is the language. Where is the um uh letters are raised basically okay just by touching and feeling the letters pattern the person is able to read it right mm -hmm. so a child with a hearing loss may have defective speech also so many times it is seen that a person a child who has hearing loss may not speak properly also hearing loss not 100% if the child can hear some amount of sound that will also be called as a hearing impairment so his speech will also be disturbed. He won't be yes, able sir. to speak prop in a proper manner. Also, that is observed. Now you have got so many technological devices. Nowadays, it is possible for a person who is deaf, who is deaf, can hear via the technological devices that are inserted into the ear. Getting it now? So that yes, basically sir. acts as an eardrum for the person. Right, so that yes. takes the uh, sound waves from the ear and converts it into vibration. That basically it is acting as the ear drum. Getting it? Yes, sir. Okay, and also if you were to further uh, further talk more about uh, ultrasounds and infrasounds, infrasonic waves and ultrasonic waves. Okay, so for example, elephant. Elephants have got a very very wide ear, and that mm -hmm. wide ear, using that wide ear, elephants have adapted in a several ways. For example, it keeps to release the body heat into the atmosphere, helps the body to keep cool, 
the uh, the ears can be used as a fan to keep the insects away from the body one important function of having big ears is that the elephant can hear very soft sounds the yes, elephants sir. can hear the sounds more of will, more sound waves will go and more vibrations and more signals yeah good so elephants can hear very soft sounds also and they can hear infrasonic sounds also while you have example of bats yeah bats can no they can hear the sounds ultrasound mm -hmm. sound ultrasonic waves can be heard by them yes sir okay 20000 hertz hmm getting it yes sir okay okay one extra zero is there okay hmm. now let's further uh, uh, differentiate between the uh, two with some uh, more points in them yes amit how are you <laughs> and also let's talk about some of the uses of the two types of waves so talking about the infrasonic waves and ultrasonic waves ultrasonic waves you uh, ultrasonic waves you guys already know it is used in ultrasound yes sir to diagnose the medical problems hmm. okay and what about the infrasonic sounds they are used to treat myopia in kids myopia to treat myopia in kids infrasonic waves are used waves are used so remember the important use of the two waves also right okay which yes. of the waves which of uh, is it that any of the two categories of waves can be heard by humans no no sir okay So the audible range for human ear is between twenty hertz to twenty thousand hertz. Okay, if it is more than, uh, if it is more than, sorry, uh, less than twenty hertz, or more than twenty thousand hertz, then it is inaudible to the human ears. Getting it? Yes, sir. Okay, so the use is also clear. Now, one important factor: whenever there is thunderstorm. What do you observe first? First, do you hear so the, the sound first or the light? The lightning. Hmm. Exactly. That is basically because the speed of sound is less than the speed of light. Yes, sir. So, speed of sound in different medium is given here. For example, in air, this is three hundred forty meter per second. In water, fifteen hundred meter per second. And in a metal, it is five thousand meter per second. That is maximum. Hmm. <laughs> Getting it? <laughs> yes, sir. So that is the reason why sound, while it travels at a speed of three forty meter per second, while light travels at a speed of three into ten to the power eight meter per second. Okay. Yes, so that is the reason why you get to see the light first. Okay, Ahmed Arhan, Arham. Yes, right. Sir. Now let's talk about the types of sound, whether they are pleasant to our ear ears or not. on the basis of that we have categorized them as noise and music okay yes, so noise can be regarded as an unpleasant sound okay mm. why because noise consists of sound waves of varied frequencies there is not one frequency yes in a sound wave in a noise the sound waves might be like this at certain time the pitch might be very high like this okay and then it might be like this and then again like this Okay, so there is not a regular pattern of frequency, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and the pattern is also not repeating here, right? So therefore, noise is regarded as a mixture of sound waves with irregular frequencies. Yes, sir. So noise is regarded as a mixture of sound waves <coughs> with irregular frequencies okay it is clear to all three of you yes sir while on the other hand you have got music music has got a very clear pitch it has a very clear pitch right 
so musical mm. sound can be created by arranging and combining different sounds in a particular order yes. okay so suppose suppose you are now yeah suppose you are hammering a nail you are hammering a nail okay sometimes you will be hitting it at a higher force sometimes at a lower force so the type of vibration you will be seeing it will be like this like this getting it this is how the wave of hammering the nail will look like the sound uh, the a wave of the sound produced in hammering a nail while if you are uh, if you are playing a musical instrument the wave will be like this so that will be a wave of a music getting it yes sir so music on the other hand we just saw that it has got a pleasant sound why it is pleasant sound guys because uh, there is a similar uh, sound yes it has got a particular order of frequency yes sir okay yeah, and it has got a, got a very clear pitch okay yes sir okay so any sound that uh, that seems to seems to be pleasant to our ears we can yes. call it as a uh, sound wave having music like character getting it now yes sir okay also you see the frequencies are harmonious in nature now it yes. has got a rhythm yes sir it has got a rhythm in it getting it yes sir okay so for music the waves are going to be like this what are the things we see it has got a very clear pitch okay yes and the waves uh, sounds are in a particular, particular order yes yeah. sir a particular order is observed here okay and frequency is harmonious in nature yes sir any confusions no sir these are the properties uh, while what, what does harmonious mean harmonious means basically in a rhythm okay okay in a pattern like it is moving like this and this and this unlike the uh, so, uh, sound wave of a noise that does not have got a particular pattern basically particular order or harmonious both are same thing okay sir oh. okay now look at the waves here look at the given waves here the first wave what do we observe here it's a, a particular manner hmm. and um... it's a pure note because you will see it has got same amplitude right yes sir okay above this uh, above this line the amplitude are same it has got a very perfect note a very pure note in the second that's, one that's nice it that's doesn't noise. have a particular manner of waves right the manner it's of the waves are not amplitude. particular okay yes, the sir. third one it is louder and a high yes, pitch sir. note high pitch okay because there are, the frequency is more here more number of waves can be seen here yes sir right now in a short span of time the more wave number of waves are there second one the uh, the fourth it's one the, the sound is soft and it is high pitched <laughs> note getting it <laughs> yes sir <laughs> similarly look at the other diagrams also a loud low pitch note the amplitude is, is more hence it is loud the pitch yes. is note because lesser yes, frequencies sir. are the frequency is less here lesser yes, number sir. of waves are here in one second the last diagram it is soft also it is low also low the pitch, pitch is yes. low and soft also okay clear yes sir okay so obviously now noise will have some uh, demerits also on human health right yes sir so it will lead to noise pollution also so how do yes. we define noise pollution too much of noise yeah it is defined as the presence of undesirable and unpleasant sound in the earth's environment yes sir as the presence of undesirable and 
अन प्लेजेंट साउंड इन दी अर्स एनवायरमेंट ओके बेसिकली वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द मीडियम एयर ओके सो वॉट इज द क्राइटेरिया on which criteria we have categorized that uh, beyond a certain criteria this type of sound will be considered as loudness uh, as noise hmm? so you see human beings can bear sound ranging up to 85 decibels only human yes. our human ear can tolerate so, uh, so sound having a light, uh, loudness of 85 decibels only so, so if between hertz and decibels hertz and decibel hertz is the frequency. unit of frequency and decibel yes. is the unit of loudness okay okay that is a difference so if the loudness of the sound is up to 85 decibels then our human ear can tolerate yeah. it we can be bear it above that any sound that will be ca called as noise and that can damage the ear getting yes, it sir. okay <clears throat> so human ear can tolerate loudness up to 85 decibels yes. beyond that it will damage the ear okay mm -hmm. so any sound you see any sound that has a frequency of more than 30 decibel more yes, than sir. 30, 30 decibel will be considered as noise here now you see sir you just say that our eyes uh, our ears can tolerate up to 85 decibels yes That's our uh, ear can tolerate above, yeah, above yes. that it is harmful more than that it is harmful it will damage your eardrum hmm. but the criteria in which uh, on the basis of which we have classified any sound as noise or music above the benchmark is that if it is above 30 decibel it will be consider as noise okay but it will not be very harmful for the human ear it will only start damaging the human ear when it is above 85 decibel yes, getting sir. it guys yes sir okay so now you see uh, what are the harmful uh, what are the adverse effects of noise on human health first yes, and sir. foremost it may damage the eardrum yes sir it may damage the eardrum Okay. it also affects the mental health it also affects the mental health it yes sir and headache since sir. exactly more signals come to the brain exactly and since our heart you see <coughs> our heart that is continuously pumping the blood that is also producing its own frequency now yes sir our heart also has got a frequency okay yes, sir. and if there is now noise noise has also got a frequency both are basically mm -hmm. sound now yes, okay sir. our heart also produces a sound okay and it, the sound is like lub dub this kind of sound is produced by heart okay when it is pumping the blood when yes, it sir. is expanding and contracting okay so the frequency of the heart and the nearby frequency if they overlaps okay if they overlap then it might be difficult for uh, the heart also so normally the heart patients it is difficult for them okay that's why yes, they sir. are advised to be kept in a quiet place yeah uh, people with um seizures hmm. people with seizures 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 what is that <laughs> um epilepsy sir okay 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 and according to world health organization the maximum sound limit that is ideal for cities is 45 decibel only okay sir okay hmm. so ideal sound limit is how much 85 decibel 45 45 i said 45 decibel okay okay so remember the three ideal 30 right data here yeah no ideal, ideal it is ideal 45 decibel only Okay. Three data are given here. Human ear can tolerate sound, uh, 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 sound up to eighty-five decibel only. Beyond that, yes, it may damage the eardrum. Okay. Now, talking about the noise. 
any sound that reaches the uh, uh, that reaches above thirty decimal, it is called as noise. Okay, but it will only damage the human ear if it reaches it above eighty five decimal. Yes. And as per the World Health Organization, ideal sound limit of a city sh 45. should be under forty five decimal, not more than that. Getting it now? Yes. Sir. Okay. So, however, it has been found that the sound reach in many big cities is more than eighty five. Usually, it is ninety decibel. Hmm. But in reality. It is ninety decibel or more than it. <laughs> getting it, getting it. Yes, sir. So right is it? That about eighty-five decibels, uh, the human ear will be damaged. Yeah, usually in most of the cases, it has been seen that the human ear gets damaged if it is eighty-five uh, decibel. Like if the human beings are uh, continuously exposed to it. Over a long period of time, they may develop a hearing impairment. So, in many big cities now, it is now it is observed that the uh, loudness reaches up to ninety decibel, up yes. to ninety decibels it can reach. Okay, and there are cases, more cases of deafness nowadays yes, in sir. big cities. Getting it? Okay. Here, when I say that it is harmful, it does not mean the eardrum will just Rupture. Hmm. It will start slowly impacting the eardrum. It will the person will very slowly start to lose the hearing capacity. Okay. Yes, sir. So the problems due to noise pollution, as I said, the person may develop several health-related problems like lack of sleep, that is insomnia, high hmm. blood pressure, loss of hearing, anxiety, stress. Chance of heart attack. Ah, uh, chances of heart attack may increase. Okay, so sound above eighty or eighty-five decibel is painful to hear. Okay, so if someone stands near a loud speaker, hmm. after some time they may develop pain in their ear. Okay. Sir, but how how does the like the DJ people they are like hmm. uh, beside the the speakers, right? Yeah, like they they are not used to it. They are used to it, but many of them develop uh, hearing issues. Okay. Okay. Many of them develop hearing issues. It is not that they are immune to it. Okay, they develop hearing issues. A person who is exposed to loud sound continuously may get permanent or temporary impairment of hearing or loss of hearing. Okay. Yes, sir. And now, what are the measures to control the uh, uh, noise pollution? How we may do that? Do that? <laughs> uh, keep the sound below uh, thirty, thirty or forty-five decibels. Mm. First, talk about what are the causes of noise pollution. Then we will talk about the mitigation process, about how to control it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you have transport noise. Yes. Right. So Machines. the sound of of the traffic on roads, railways, aircrafts, these mm -hmm. leads to noise pollution. Now, now it is the number of vehicles, cars, uh, buses, trucks is okay. increasing in the cities, especially in. Metropolitan cities. Okay, yes, so noise pollution is extremely high in metropolitan cities. So one of the causes, transport noise Machines. due to the increasing vehicles. Machines, good. Machines. Then you have noise pollution coming from industries also. So industrial yes, noise is also there. How? There are so many so factories. Construction works. construction works. Good. Yes. We can include that also from construction sites. Noise that's is also there. Okay. Yes. That's industrial itself, right? Industrial or oh, construction, we may separate them. In the industrial noise, we have got a uh, sound coming from industries, noise coming from industries, factories. Getting it now. Another yes, commercial sir. business can also be included here. Commercial business, construction site. Then you have other uh, uh, lesser sources of noise pollution also. Getting it? Yes, sir. For example, you have uh, one of the example of is cracking firecrackers. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thunder. Thunder. 
that is natural sound also natural sound is also that is yes. thunder what is cyclone produce sound cyclone does not necessarily produces a sound but cyclone is accompanied by thunderstorm also whenever yes. there is a cyclone a thunderstorm is also observed there okay hmm. all right so if you were to see if the sound is uh, uh, the loudness of the sound is up to 30 decibels it is uh, noise yeah considered as noise it is considered as, as noise okay yes. so uh, for example if someone is whispering in our ear someone whispers in our ear uh, not very in a soft manner but in a loud manner little bit lo loud manner about 20 hertz yeah it's about 20 to 25 hertz right yes sir if it reaches 85 decibel hmm. <laughs> then what happens in is, if the uh, person is continuously uh, sorry, exposed yeah it is harmful if the person is continuously exposed to sound of 85 decibel and if continuously if for seven to eight hours if the person exposed to 85 is it a lecture yeah the so eardrum not rupture but the person will not develop uh, 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 hearing impairment the person will uh, develop temporary loss of hearing yeah, sir i have a doubt yeah. that uh, you said that about 20000 hertz it is uh, inaudible for human beings Yes. Uh, but about 25 uh, hertz, uh, it is uh, harmful. So, it's, how it's can you like. It's uh, decibel, decibel, arham. Uh, yes, decibel. We are talking about loudness, not frequency. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when okay. we calculate, when we talk about noise, we, can, <laughs> we calculate it as loud, uh, loudness, not frequency. Yes, okay. Sir. Okay. And suppose if the frequency of sorry if the loudness were to reach 91 decimal or 90 decimal then the person will get his ear damage in two uh, two hours only okay yes, so for example yes, the sound that comes from hair drive okay that has got a loudness of 90 or 91 decibel okay then yes, for example the motorcycle the loudness of motorcycle is above 91 it might be around 97 to 98 decibel so as you see the loudness increases the chances of losing uh, losing the hearing capability hearing. increases yes, but it is not necessary that if the loudness is 85 or 90 or up to 95 the person will become deaf no that is not the case okay sir. if the person were to uh, stand nearby a jet engine that is about to take off if the person yes, were to um, stand just nearby a rock concert okay yes, or if the person were to stand near a electric drill Okay, mm -hmm. or a uh, um, in an area basically where the loudness is above, let's say, uh, 100 decibel. Yes, sir. 100 decibel. Then it is more likely the person will develop hearing loss. Okay. Yes. Now we were coming back to the topic that we were talking about. How do we control the noise pollution? What are the ways? Um, <coughs> so reducing the transport noise. Yes, reducing the transport noise. Okay. So, but how can we do that? <clears throat> we can do that by switching to uh, different technologies. Yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah, we may uh, switch from um, petrol and diesel vehicles to electric vehicles that produces less noise. So, but tanking also uh, produces sound. Which it one? Is also noise. Electric uh, cars. No, sir. Honking. Hon honking, yeah. yeah. Honking also produces noise. For mm. that, we haven't developed any such technologies or nobody has come up with any alternative methods to yes, uh, get rid of that yet. Okay. Mm. So you see factories, for example, yeah, factories and other industries, so many industries. So they need to be set up at, at a distance from residential areas where yes. people are living. It should not be set up in that areas. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so we can also use silencers for uh, devices which produces sounds. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can silence a device. Uh, for example, heavy vehicles such as aircraft. You have industrial equipments, so many machineries. 
they produces a very high loudness or a very high uh, decibel sound so we can yes, use sir. silencers okay so silencers can be used okay one of the more method we use say that industries should be located at a distance from residential areas okay yes sir okay and so many methods so many uh, steps we can also adapt okay we uh, so many people place televisions radios and so many music systems at very high sound they need to play it at low sound okay yes sir especially uh, if there is uh, no need use of horns should be avoided hmm. no need to keep keep on honking unnecessarily okay yes sir okay especially near the places like schools hospitals it should be avoided yes. okay and also sound proofing system should be used for example if you were to use more curtains at your home hmm. okay then the sound will be reduced okay yes, sir. Yes, if you are sitting uh, sitting in your room and if you were to make uh, use so many curtains in windows and in doors then you won't be hearing the sound coming from outside or your nearby room it will be coming yes. but in lesser amount okay hmm. we can sound proof windows yeah sound proof windows can be used in our cars also more and more trees should be planted why because they can absorb unwanted noise from the environment yes sir trees can absorb unwanted noise okay hmm. right now okay now what about the people who are bound to work in such condition for example in industries no many how many technologies they uh, switch on to still there will be some people who will be dealing with uh, noise uh, pr producing machines okay yes sir. so they need to be provided with ear plugs or proper equipment so that they can save their ears right okay yes apart from that on a community level what can be done people um, should be made aware right now people yes, should be made aware about the adverse effects that pollution can uh, sorry sound uh, noise pollution can have on human health okay yes, so it's not just a physical impact it can have mental impact also getting it yes sir, yes, sir. okay so that is what was basically given in the chapter measures sir, to limit noise pollution we discussed that ambulance the, yeah. the sound they are loud <laughs> yeah uh, look that is such a thing no that we can't avoid like that's a life and death case and the patient needs to be saved okay so there is no alternative method that has been developed yet so hmm. in near by future certain uh, technologies will be developed that will be more helpful okay yes sir okay so let's move to the anxiety exercise or uh, i think you guys should be able to solve the exercises i was actually thinking of giving you some more uh, numerical problems in the class <laughs> yeah yes sir okay so what was the formula required to calculate time period and frequency please do tell me the time period is time upon number of oscillations and the uh... Frequency is number of oscillations upon time. Very good. You, Ahmed, what was the formula required? Ahmed is here or not? I am, sir. I am. Yeah. I can see it clearly. So, what formulas were we using? Yes. Okay. No issue. Arham, uh, Arhan, you tell me what was the formula required to calculate time period? Say a uh, time upon a uh, time upon time period. In order to calculate time period, you will say time upon time period. She so said. Uh, Time so, upon number of so, oscillations now. Oh, 
no. Oh, yes. I gave you one problem in which you had to find number of all solutions. So we basically transpose it to the left hand side. So it was time upon time period. Don't go to that question. We are required to form, find the formula. Okay. What about the frequency? Number so number of oscillations? of oscillations by time. Total time. Okay. Total time. Okay. One important thing before we move to the exercise. Okay. Before move to the exercise part, one more thing, although it is not provided in the answer team, but we will discuss that problem also. Okay. So see guys here, this is your wave here. Okay. This is crest. Trough and crest. Okay. In a sound wave, you have several concepts like you have the concept of frequency. Okay. You have the concept of time period. And what else? You have amplitude. Amplitude also. There is yes. one more thing. Wavelength. Wave. In the yes. in the <coughs> wavelength. No, wavelength and amplitude are different thing. This is amplitude is a maximum deviation of the wave from its mean position. That is amplitude here represented by A. Now yes, you guys are well aware what is frequency, what is time period? Frequency is the number of oscillations in a given time. Okay. Yes, or simply we say that number of frequent uh, number of oscillations in per second. Okay. So the time yes, period was uh, a time taken to complete one oscillation. Okay. Yes, sir. Right now. <coughs> now, what is this wavelength now? Wavelength is simply the length of one complete wave. Yes, the sir. length of one more, complete wave. More the frequency, more wavelength, right? More the frequency, more, more wavelength. wavelength. No, no, that is not the relation. No. There was a relation between frequency and time period. Inverse relation between frequency and time period. Yes, sir. Okay. So forget about that. Just for the time being here, focus on wavelength. So wavelength is nothing but it is the continuous distance. Con yes, uh, distance between two successive crest or two successive trough. I have drawn mm -hmm. only the uh, half diagram here. So you can see only two crests here. One more trough was there. If I were to continue the uh, continue drawing the diagram further, this will be the second trough. Okay. Yes, sir. So say the distance between two crests or the distance between two troughs that will be called as wavelength. Yes, sir. The length of the wave getting it. The length yes, of the sir. wave. Wavelength, it is actually a distance now, basically distance between two crest or distance between two trough now, guys. Yes, sir. So suppose if I were to require the find required to find speed of a sound. Hmm. Yeah. Normally we say now the speed of sound is 340 meter per second, 1500 meter per second, yeah. 5000 meter per second in different mediums, air, liquid and uh, solid. So yes, suppose sir. if I were to be provided by frequency and the wavelength. Before mm. uh, before this now, I uh, need you guys to uh, uh, know one more thing. Like the speed is equal to distance upon time. Yes, sir. You guys know this? Yes, sir. So speed equals to distance upon time. Here, in case in the case of sound wave, since we are talking about uh, sound waves here, distance will be wavelength. Yes, sir. Time will be time period. Yes. yes, sir. Okay. And this speed will be the frequency. Uh, yes, sir. It will be the frequency. Hmm. So frequency is equal to wavelength upon time period. Time period. Getting it? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. So that is the thing. Speed is equal to distance upon time. That is wavelength upon time period. That is how you can do it. Okay. You suppose yes, if I say <coughs> there was one form one formula. Remember this formula? Okay, there's one more formula that says that 
that says that the <coughs> speed of sound is equal to frequency into wavelength hmm. frequency into wavelength yes sir so the two formulas are given here so suppose i give you a question here the question is that a sound has a frequency let's say 50 hertz okay hmm. wavelength is equals to 10 meter you need to find the speed what the speed is and speed we know it is simply what speed equals to wavelength upon time frequency. yeah wavelength into frequency time simply period. yes sir no here wavelength into frequency yes sir okay it, it is represented like this v equals to v equals to n into lambda or simply hmm. remember remember it as speed equals to uh, wavelength into frequency otherwise you will get confused leave it for the moment just remember speed equals to wave into frequency wavelength into frequency yes sir the speed will be 500 yeah 500 so the speed will be 500 very good it is 500 meter per second yes sir right yes sir so that is how we have to do such questions in the next class before beginning the new chapters I will get few more questions. Then we will solve some more questions. Okay. The exercise, sir. Exercise also you have to do do that. Okay. Quickly have a look if you guys have any confusion, sir, in the exercise. The first question, it is easy. Yes. It sir. can travel through all three mediums. The second yes, question sir. is also easy. A baby boy will have a. A man will have a. Lesser frequency. Yes, sir. a woman Because and a baby girl will have more frequency. Exactly. Third one is true false. You guys have to do it. Okay. Yes, sir. In the question number five, oscillation is given, and time yes. is given. You need to find the time period and frequency. The formulas you guys know it. You can solve yes, it. Sir. Okay. Question number number six also vibrations are given. Okay. You need to find the time period. Right. Yes, a vibration equals to uh, oscillation, right? Vibration is same as oscillation, and time period is having an inward relation with frequency. The yes, time sir. period is equal to one upon f. Hmm. Okay, so time period will be one upon five hundred. Yes, sir. Getting it? Okay, hmm. solve it. If it, if not, I will be explaining that. Okay, sir. Okay, so that is it for today. in the next class when we begin the new chapter in science we will begin before solving few more questions on sound okay yes sir okay sir okay then so that's it for today uh, my yeah. uh, love is my school has opened uh, wait uh, arhan Arha, Arha, wait yes school had opened on monday uh, will you please repeat your test are on my school has opened uh, on monday Okay, it has opened on Monday. Yes, sir. Okay, and I was just informing. Okay, okay, good, good. Okay, and please do tell me about your syllabus quickly. Tell me about your syllabus. I've sent Or, it, sir. You have sent it. Yes, sir. Okay, Ahmed, you have also yes, sent sir. your midterm syllabus, no? You have also sent um, sent your midterm syllabus. Sir, our midterm syllabus hasn't been. Uh, I haven't got it yet. Okay, you haven't got it. Yes, I don't okay. think I've got it. Okay, okay. If not, please uh uh inquire 